Good morning, modern steaders. We have some good news, bad news, and good news. I guess it all depends on how you look at all of it. <gasps> the piggies are napping. What are you doing? Yeah. We'll let them be for now. We'll check on them in a little while. But back to the good news, bad news, good news. We'll start with the bad news. I got a text message this morning. I got the day off of work. That's bad, but good, because we got time to do more projects. More good news is I talked to the people that are coming here to work on our big project, and they're gonna be here either this week or next week. Fingers crossed that they're coming this week. That would be really exciting. And we can start doing some more projects sooner. We need to get this tent measured up. We're gonna turn this into our goat barn temporarily. And then after that, we'll be using it to park our Kubota in. So I got some pretty neat ideas that we can do with this. So what I'm imagining for that building is putting a green tin roof on it, peek it like that, and then put in the pine board siding on it. I think that'd make a nice little looking barn. That'll be a good shelter, and then when we get into a bigger barn someday, we can use it to park the Kubota in. And that's what we're thinking. We're gonna call and order some tin. All right, thank you. Well, that's a disappointment. The tin won't be here till next week. They usually have two deliveries a week, but it's not building season enough up here yet, so they're only doing one delivery. Man. Just ran to Lowe's. Gotta grab two four inch 90 degree sweep elbows. I'm gonna make two feeders for our $30 chicken coops. I picked up a tarp just in case we needed it and a couple of lids. I'm following the directions that I have written out to make these. I'll put a link here and in the description down below to a blog post and video I have on these. Horizontal watering nipples become my new favorite way to set up an automatic waterer. We're gonna make one more today, and then I got a bunch of other ones I can be making all the some more later on. I think the little piggies shut the lids on the food and now they're trying to get back in. What are you doing there, sausage and lynx? Did you close your food lid? Yeah. You wanna get in there? Look at all the mess you made. Good job. I know, you're not quite big enough. Are oh, you scratching? You got an itch. Here, you want your grain?
Now since I'm home alone doing this, this could prove interesting if the wind picks up. All right, that's my favorite looking chicken tractor so far. <sighs> Sometimes I can be OCD on the looks of things. It's a bad thing to have. But now, it's time to get the chickens out. how big he is. Now this big boy right here. That's 22 in this tractor. You feeling better today? Yeah. Good. Ready to go out and see the piggies? Yeah. Come on, figure out. Blow it out. They're sleeping. What are you doing? Been hot at work? Looks like you have been. Are you gonna go meet them now? Yeah. Is that cool? Is that cool? Nope. I think I was like, oh, I don't like them things. What are they? <laughs> oh, you like the coolness from the water that's been dripping out of the 55 gallon drum? There you go. Dribble some water on her. <laughs> Is that cold?
around here. You gotta walk around here. Call you girls a silly. Taking your turns. You're crazy. You don't care about the pigs, do you? You're a nut. I can't get over how good this camera does in low light. The piggies are still out. I'm surprised you girls aren't in the IBC tote. Huh? It's nice out, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna have to hook the electric fence up and get them trained to that maybe tomorrow. Good night, sausage and links. See you in the morning. We'll see you in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.